What's up producer, friends and family and music lovers and Nebby vlog watchers. Today we are going to talk a little bit about making a song and how to begin. How to begin? Well, I came up with six different ways you can begin the process of writing or producing a song. Because um, there shouldn't only be one way and there's not only six ways. If you uh, get to the end of this vlog and you think of other ways, comment below. Because this isn't the only six, but it's a great start. Now, my main reason for um, coming up with this list is really just to keep you inspired while you make music. Different ways to begin writing a song and making a song and producing a song gives you a change of pace. It makes your sound not be stagnant. It makes you not be stagnant. And most importantly, you don't get bored. So you stay inspired throughout the whole thing until you have a finished product. I did write a couple notes. So six ways you as a producer, rapper, artist, singer, songwriter, musician, instrumentalist can make a song and begin the process. Number one is pretty simple. Chords. You can start with some chords. Whether you play piano or the guitar or the harpsichord, or any instrument that plays chords. Um, come up with a cool chord progression. Even if you're on your computer and you put the chord mode on a, your native instruments machine, or your controller, or with your keyboard typing, and one button equals a chord. Come up with a cool chord progression. And that will get you to the next step of the song. Um, also keep in mind, as I list these six steps, this is six ways to begin the process. Step two, there's equal amount of ways to decide how you're gonna do this process. So the first way, like I said, is come up with a chord progression. Clonk out chords, use a chord generator, look up chords online that look cool, get a chord progression. It's a great way to start a song. Another way to start a song, number two, create a top line melody. The catchy melody that's either the hook or the most repetitive part of a verse. You might have just come from whistling. It might come from you humming like You base a whole song around that melody. So, number two, come up with the top line melody. And by doing that, then you have a melody to construct a song around. And you could, for once you have that melody, you could create chords next, drums next, um, counter melodies next words for that melody next, bring in musicians, so. Number one, chords. Number two, you could start with creating a melody. Number three, you could start with the drums. You don't even have music in mind yet, but you can create a bang and beat. So, start with four bars, eight bars. Or if you wanna get really crazy, sometimes I'll do 20 bar loops where it'll be a 16 bar verse and then four bar hook idea, or maybe um, 24 bars where it'll be an eight bar hook. And then I'll construct basically the foundation of the drums for a future song. But all I'm focusing on is making myself really feel these drums. Whether you're two-stepping or you're dancing or you're getting hype at a club type drums, you just wanna create a great drum loop that's gonna inspire you for the next step. So, recap, there's three so far. If you're gonna write and produce a song, ways you can begin. Number one, we said chords. Number two, come up with a top line melody, AKA a catchy thing that could start with a whistle or a hum. Number three, you could start with the drums and inspire yourself to really be moving and rocking. And by the time you got your nice loop, you're gonna probably come up with a top line melody or maybe, uh, oh, chords will sound cool now and I'll know where to clonk them out. Number four, another way that you can start creating a song right now if you need a way to start that is new, find a cool sound. So with Logic, what I really enjoy is Alchemy and it has like infinite amount of sounds, like th tens of twenties of thirties of thousands of different sounds that are just templated out already and stock that you can customize. <clears throat> so sometimes I'll just scroll through, but whatever you have, uh, Serum, uh, anything. Fruity Loops, synths, if you have one hit synthesizers, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be a synthesizer. You could do things like what I've done in the past. Record a Red Bull can, um, record my dog barking and sample that. A cool sound. Number four is a cool sound. Something that is so cool you know it needs to be on the song and you place that cool sound where it needs to be. And once it's there, you're going to notice the empty gaps. 
well, now I got this cool sound. Maybe it needs chords. Maybe now this cool sound is going to um, inspire me to, oh, these drums got to sound like this. So, number four is a cool sound. Number five, another idea of ways that you can begin writing and producing a song right now is sampling. Sampling, as we know, became most popularized with hip hop in the 80s and 90s, and that is taking a piece of music, <clears throat> chopping it up, often putting it onto a drum pad or a keyboard, and creating your own new piece of music out of the samples. And um, sometimes people sample including the drums and the whole beat is pretty much just a sample or a sample can be used to be the main pad or like the air within your song or beat that you're making so trying not to throw too much out at once and just stick to the simple guidelines because like i said earlier <clears throat> all of these ideas of ways to begin your music writing process have infinite next step possibilities so if you're sampling something that has drums then you might not need to do drums number two and then all you need now is if the sample has chords and maybe even a melody that you chopped up and it sounds good you might be going right on the vocals so sample is number five and sample is a way that'll get you to the next step and depending on how chunky the sample is will really like predict how many more steps you need until you're cutting vocals and this song is done and six, uh, another idea of ways you right now as an MC, singer, songwriter, producer, musician, instrumentalist, content creator, can begin writing a song or making a song or producing a beat is a reference track. So sometimes I'll have an artist come in and they'll be like, I really like this song by so-and-so. So I call it tracing paper. Sometimes I'll just take the song, put it into my session, find the BPM or beats per minute, the tempo of the reference song, line it up and i'll let i'll loop like the intro i'll be like all right what is in this intro all right they got this type of kick in this intro they got this type of beat they got this many chords they got one melody two melodies and then i'll just make that my template i won't steal their chord progression or their their actual melodies but i'll use them as templates for what I need to do if I want to create something with that certain type of vibe. So I'll, be, I'll loop their intro for maybe 25, 30 minutes. And I'll be like, all right, and they have a build up right into the, the hook comes in before the first verse after the intro. So I'm going to make my hook come in and they don't have drums for the first four and then they have a big build up. I'm going to do that. I listen to the chords. It's okay if you don't know the music theory, but listen to the change of chords in the reference track. like. If a song is like, bam, 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 that's four notes and most likely four chords in simple terms, right? Four quick changes, then it repeats. So I'll use that as my template and structure my ideas around that to match that. So um, there's infinite ways, and I hope this was clear to everybody. But this is a great guideline for just six ideas of how you can begin a beat. And the re everyone's like, begin a beat. Everyone can begin a beat. It's about making a hot beat. Well, maybe in a way, these simple tips also re especially apply to the experienced producers and singers and songwriters and musicians. Because um, you don't want to get stuck in your one formula. Because eventually, the, what people love you for... It, it's going to become old if you keep doing it the same way, the same way. Um, and even specifically, like I said, I'm going to probably do a bunch of tag on videos to this. Like how I said, the third idea was start with your drums. Well, then there's infinite ways within each of these to actually do it. So for example, with drums, you could hire a live drummer. You could pull up your drum pad. <laughs> You could play it live, or you could get your one hit, your one shot, a drum, a kick drum, a snare, a hi-hat, paste them one at a time. And they're all acceptable ways. And what I've learned after doing all of these ways for over a decade is you can get the same result, but depending on the method that you choose, 
it really does end up changing the sound in a good way. It ends up being that type of beat. Um, a live drummer is going to have a different sound than if you spend a lot of time intricately putting together one hits. You know, one kick at a time, one snare at a time. And of course you can match them to sound the same and get the same result. But if you're just in creative mode, these little things are going to change it up enough to where your flavor is going to be on that song or that record or that beat. But because you chose a different um, process or... Um, What's the word? If you, because you chose a different step-by-step uh, -step way of doing it, it's going to continue to keep you fresh. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. Um, <clears throat> switch it up. Switch it up. You got your formula, stick to it. If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But um, you'll be surprised. Even just do it to experiment. Try making, you know, if you're someone that lays your drums first, try uh, making chords first. Oh, of course, I guess bonus number seven, which should definitely be on there, but um, I said, you know, you come up with the melody first that you whistle or hum. But of course, maybe you actually wrote the song first vocally. You know, you have a melody, you have, you have, uh, you have a hook, you have a verse. So then you make the song around that. So there's six in a bonus seven ways that you right now can start a song differently to get an awesome result that you'll be proud of that will not keep you stagnated or bored on this never-ending process of creating hot music as a producer, singer, songwriter, MC, content creator, musician, instrumentalist, whatever you want to call yourself. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed that. My name is Mike Nappy. You can check me out at nappymusicofficial.com and get links to everything from Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, everything. You can find me, Instagram, Nappy Music. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube for Nappy Music videos. And I will be back tomorrow because that's what I do. Todos las, los dias. Every freaking day. But now I'm quoting Jake Paul. And um, he said it first. So, as a real lyricist, I can't even be pumped when I'm saying other people's shit. But I do salute them. So, that's it. Go out there and make music and be original. And keep it fresh so you keep waking up every day wanting to do better. That's all. Bye.